on the bully with cats used to harmonize like Yo, 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 my men and my women Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, welcome and if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back I know it's been a while, but I'm back So, just to get right into things I am super excited about starting my makeup journey and doing my first makeup, like solely makeup video. I'm super excited about that. So just to get started, I kind of wanted to do like a basic baddie type situation, like something where you can just do it every day. Um, so first things first, you're always going to find your favorite primer or, you know, you can, everything that I will use will be linked down below. But I typically start off with my Vitamin um, Enrich Face Base Primer, which is the Bobbi Brown. And I'm trying to show it. The Bobbi Brown one. And then I use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, which, you know, I need to get some more. But I love this stuff, y'all. And I normally apply both of them together after doing a face cleanse, you know. Face care is very important. Skin care is very important when it comes to makeup. Hey girls, so I usually go in the, with the micellar water just to kind of dry the oil down on my face just a little bit so that we can have that matte finish. But we're going to start with the brows, the Anastasia Dip um, Primate. Oh my god, I love this stuff. And I was just really trying to define my brows. Not trying to do too much, just trying to bring some definition and then some life into them because they were looking a little faded, you know? <laughs> but that's typically what I do. But then my next product that I use is my favorite, the LA Pro Concealer Girl. Girl, this right here is a drugstore product that is, it's a staple. Like, you have to have it in your makeup. It's a staple, honey. It is truly one of those ones that will go with anything, go with any brand. So definitely look into getting that. If you're freshly starting, it's beginner friendly, easy to use. I usually just get me a flat brush and I carve it out. And the shade that I usually get is chestnut, which is closer to my skin tone. Because when I'm going from a, a natural look, I really don't want like the highlighted brow look. I just want a natural face. You know what I'm saying? And then I go in with the Benefit 24 hour brow setter and you just literally put it on like you put on mascara. Like it's so easy and so simple. <laughs> thing, now it is time for the foundation. This foundation is a drugstore product, so Maybelline Fit Me. I am an oily girl, so I will always have matte products because I'm always trying to have a snatched look. And anything that dries down my oil a little bit is what I'm looking for, like a matte finish when I'm trying to do my makeup. And you just tap it in, dab it in, and you get an even complexion. Just make sure you're taking the time to blend it in and everything. And next I'm going to go in with my concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way in the shade butterscotch honey and she is definitely a staple in the collection too but if you're first starting you don't have to get high-end brands i am not new to makeup <laughs> but i'm learning every day so i do have some high-end brands in my collection but i will do a video if you guys drop in the comments below if you would love for me to do like a drugstore face where it's like girl budget friendly then I can do that for you, sis. <laughs> now, one of the keys to makeup is blending. Please make sure that you are taking the time to blend your makeup. I don't care if it takes you a good five, seven minutes. Honey, we do not want lines of demarcation. Okay, we do not want those lines that show that you have makeup on your face. We want a seamless, flawless 
space, okay? <laughs> so please take the time to blend. And the art of blending comes with practice. It is not something that happens overnight, trust me. Because, girl, I've had my days where I'm like, uh-uh, this is not working. <laughs> but it is okay. And then we're going to go in with the setting powder. This Laura Mercier setting powder, translucent powder. Oh, my God, I love it. It is a high-end, of course. I will say I do have some low-end brands that I can recommend. But this is one of my favorite ones. And it just does the job. It does the trick. And... Let me tell you something. Setting powders and translucent powders, let me explain to you. They will make you feel like, oh my God, what am I doing to my face? But honey, if you're not getting ghosty, then you're not doing it right. Like, <laughs> as you see, you're looking, you're like, whoa, sis, this is not looking good. I know you got to trust the process. Trust the process. It's a process to this beauty thing, honey. Let's trust the process, okay? <laughs> so now I go in with the foundation stick. I use this as my contour. And like, I love this Juvia's Place foundation stick. I forget what shade it's in. I will link it down below in the comments. But this right here just gets the job done for contouring. I'm still learning contouring myself. Like, I'm not the best, but I can get a snatch look. And the art to a snatch look is making sure that you are blending the contour up in an upward motion. You see how I'm going in an upward motion? Yeah, like you're, you're literally, that's how you're getting that snatch look. And then we're gonna go in with the Rare Beauty blush. This is actually a sample and I was trying it out. And it's super light, so I did have to go in with my Juvia's Place blush palette to kind of bring some more color to it. Um, <laughs> because it's super light on my skin tone. But I wanted like a more, you know, blushier look. So I did go in and blend those two. And I gotta say that a cream and a powder mix, it gave it gave something, girl. It gave something. We were doing something here, okay? <laughs> okay, so here we're going to clean off our lips of all that makeup that got on our lips because we're prepping and we're going to get this these lips popping, okay? <laughs> so I did put on my lashes off camera because me and my lashes, we fight. So I didn't want y'all to see that, like, me and my lashes, we fight, sis. We fight. <laughs> but come here and let me show you how I line my lips. So I just take a brown pencil. Usually, y'all, I use like an eyeliner pencil sometimes. I don't even use a lip pencil all the time. And I gotta say that this was probably like my wet and wow lip pencil, eye pencil or something. And it works for me. You just get a shade brown and you line your lips. Lining your lips is an art that you do have to learn, and I'm still learning, but I know that you should not mush your lips. You should pat your lips like you saw me do, okay? <laughs> and then I went in with my MAC Lock Kiss, and the shade will be down below, and I just put a little in the space outside of the lining and just m m m m m my lips together because you don't want it to, you know, you just want it to get in there. You don't want it to like blend in there. You just want it to like, you know, compact on there. And this NYX, girl, this one right here is definitely a thing. And here is the finished look. Like, what do you guys think? I love this as an everyday, soft, glam, basic baddie look. Like, girl, own it, okay? <laughs> See you later.